Hello, I'm Charles Wright, and this is the Express Yourself Show. And today my guest is none other than Akisa. Me and Akisa are going to have, have a little talk here. Sometimes I have to straighten it out, you know. <laughs> but she's a lovely lady, and we have a lot of fun together. But uh, sometimes you get a little twisted up. Really? We want to talk about Aura Kelly. Good subject. My man, Aura Kelly. Now, everybody is going down on Aura Kelly right now. And uh, I, I can kind of understand why. But let me tell you something. Before I say anything about R. Kelly, there's one thing I just have to say. That video, the one, that stepping video, mm -hmm. I love that video. <laughs> you know, so I, I don't know how I can turn against my man, except for if that was my granddaughter, or my daughter, we'd have a problem. <laughs> right, right. Other than that, R. Kelly is all right with me. No, I agree. And, and, and one more thing for uh, mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. come down on me. <laughs> uh, I'm so tired of seeing our black men who are elevated themselves to stardom which is one of the hardest things in the world you can do. And I'm tired of seeing everybody pull them down. Uh, and that's uh, my problem. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about the situation. Right. Now, when it comes to R. Kelly, I know you got something smart to say. Listen, I totally agree with you. Oh. Uh, as far as R. Kelly, the artist. I love oh. R. Kelly, the artist, right? So, you know, just like his music, you cannot take that from him. He is a I musical genius. He can fly. Absolutely. <laughs> like, it's going to be so hard to just not listen to R. Kelly or not support him musically. Thank you. But as far as R. Kelly, the person, the personal person, there's an issue. But how much do we really know? Well, what what you you're absolutely right. How much do we really know? Well, I what I will tell you is this. We all know that in 1994, I believe it was, R. Kelly married um Aaliyah. The the artist Aaliyah. Is that and, the lady who got killed? Yes. Yes, that's the young lady who oh, who God yeah, bless her. got killed. Yeah. Um and so he married her. Aaliyah at the time was I believe 15 years old and R. Kelly was 27 years old. Okay. 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 And um, there was basically falsified documents saying that she was 18, I believe it was. Who falsified those documents? Uh, I, obviously, R. Kelly and his crew did. Maybe she did. No, well, maybe she did. Thank you. Maybe she did. Yeah. But at 15. How much do we know? Okay. This is the Here's the thing. Of the show. You're absolutely right. We live in the U.S., you are not grown until you're 18. Okay, that's the law here. That's the U.S. That's in the U.S. But that means that it's right or wrong. That means that it was wrong for him to marry a 15-year-old, and he's 27. But come on, 27 years old, Charles. There must have been something happening. Uh, yeah, sex. Well, shit. And manipulate. Man no, you do not want that. That's, <laughs> see, that's awful. See, so, so, so here's the thing. There's a lot of things that we don't know, but what we do know is that. That's the number one fact. And then also... Is that he married... Is that he married a 15-year-old 15 15 girl, girl at 27. Well, now, that would have been legal in, like, say, India. But we weren't in Pakistan, India. Huh? Mm -hmm, we weren't in India. I mm -hmm. know, but, yeah. but it's not something that's not done. It's done. In other parts of the world. I know this is the United States, and we have our laws. Mm -hmm. But they're laws. Right. We got laws. Yes. But then still the law shoot us in the back and get away with it. That's true. But in this case, again, R. Kelly, a lot of things a lot of people don't know. There were cases R. Kelly 
being involved with underage girls that we, a lot of people that the public didn't read into or weren't privy of, that he actually settled lawsuits over the years for underage girls he settled out of court. And if you go and do your homework, this man settled at least five cases of underage women that he was sleeping with all under the age of 18 years old. Well, there wait a minute. Well, R. Kelly. Uh -huh. R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Obviously he has a taste that's different than the law allows. That's what you're telling me. Absolutely. But how can you change somebody's taste? Well, obviously there there is uh, some type of sickness there. There well, is a sickness can, there. Would you convict a person who is sick? I mean, you go to crazy houses, a lot of people in there. Would you put them in the, would you convict them? Here's, here's, here. okay, so here again, here's the issue. He wasn't convicted the first time he did it with Aaliyah, okay? And he wasn't convicted when he did it the four other times with the other women. And he wasn't convicted the time when they found him not guilty, which he was guilty because he paid people off in 2001 when he slept with the 14-year-old girl, had him on video. He pretended that it was someone else. Well, I saw the video personally. Now, I'm sure you, I don't know if you saw the video. What video? There was a video <laughs> of R. Kelly um, engaging in sexual acts with a 14-year-old girl. He had videotaped it. The video was released. It it looked like R. Kelly to me. Now, he wasn't convicted of that crime because he paid people off, bottom line. That's what you said. Well, I, I, How yeah, much do I'm we know? Okay. Again, I'm going to... Uh, allegedly, he paid people off okay. in 2001. For, hold on, for the 14-year-old girl. Okay. okay. So I saw that video, and let me just say this. I've been, for, I've been a 14-year-old girl. Okay. You have? Yes, I have yeah, been a 14-year-old girl. Know it. And let me say something. <laughs> As a 14-year-old girl, I I would say that I was I would I don't want to say I was mature for my age, but what I know today or what I knew at 25 was different than what I knew at 14. And so a lot of these young girls did not grow up with fathers. A lot of these young girls wanted to break into the industry, and R. Kelly took advantage of that. And then maybe they were looking for a father as well. They probably were. But now, wait a minute. You say that, they, that he paid people off. Yes. Okay. Now, you don't have no girls. No. You got nieces. I have nieces. And you have two kids. Mm hmm have two boys. Could somebody pay you to have sex with your children? No one could pay me to have sex well, with my don't children. Blame R. Kelly Wait a if minute. Parents collect the money well, and accepted it. You're, let me say something. I I am definitely going to blame R. Kelly as well. Let me just tell you why. Because poor you're, R. Kelly. You, poor R. Kelly. Absolutely. <laughs> because R. Kelly was given several chances to clean his act up, and he didn't. And so they gave him the chances. Well, when you get chances, you always figure you got another chance. Yeah, yeah. So who's guilty, the system or the parents or R. Kelly? All of it going to land on believe, R. Kelly? Well, let me tell I you think, why. Well, I, I don't think R. Kelly alone is to blame for well, what's right. going on Well, here. let me just say something. What I, what I will say to you is mm. that if these were little white girls, then he would have been convicted by now. Well, it would depend on what color he was. Yes. Cause don't forget, Jerry Lee Lewis married his 13-year-old niece, and Elvis Presley, he was messing with his 14-year-old girl, and nobody done nothing about that. Right, you know why? Because they white. Right. He had the complexion okay, so for the connection. Okay, so now why you want to come down this black man so we're gonna come and down bury the... his name well... and, 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 and prosecute him? When you didn't do it for the white folks. I 
was all for R. Kelly even after the Aaliyah incident. Yeah, even no after the, I'm about either. to tell you. I'm going to answer it. Mm. After he did these things, I was for R. Kelly still. Still rolling with him. Still listening to his music. Good. But now R. Kelly has taken it too far. You've now... You, you've already, you, you should have learned your lesson. You can't keep doing the same thing. So it doesn't matter what color he is, black, white, green. Okay, so if he took it too far, he yes. took it too far the first time. He so did. Why are you going to excuse him three times and then say well, the fourth time we're going to do? Well, I we, don't think, it's just not fair. I mean, especially since he's a black man at a time where they put Bill Cosby in prison in a general population. So you think it's okay for this this man to continue to prey on these young women? I don't know what the case is. Well, let me just, uh, I just told you what the case is. This yeah. guy will roll up to high schools. Let's say he rolled up to your daughter high school. Now, your daughter told me that you were very, you sheltered her a lot, right? And you were there. Who told you that? Your daughter. Okay. She got so, a big mouth. <laughs> so, so you were a father who was present. Okay. And you may, and hold on. And so there are men, either they are not there because they passed away, because they don't want to be there. Yeah, they're there because they locked off of in uh, prison. Locked in prison. It's always right. So, okay, so the system has screwed us up and you're going to put it all on, on R. Kelly. Yeah, I'm going to put it on R. Kelly because when you are 27, 30, yeah. 40 years old, you know better. You know better. You you know better. And you made a choice. He has he has a fetish. Yeah. That's what he has. Well, we all have vices, okay? okay but, I like but, sugar, okay? You might like uh, coffee, okay? I got some sugar. You, <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? We all have fetishes. You <laughs> might like to shop. This Negro... Goes after these teenage women. So. And then he treats them like shit. Can fetish, I just say that? Yeah, okay. His fetish is different than mine, yours. Right. You can't put him in jail. For, well, you can. I mean, you should put him in jail for that. He's he not, might need some mental. Let me tell you something. I but, think a lot of. He's not. Sorry to cut you off. He's not going to jail just because he slept with underage girls. He locks them. Up, basically, and he treats them, makes them do oral on each other. He makes them do things that How they... How do you know? Because there's a whole story out there at this point. A story. It's a story. S-T. Okay, so I'm going to say allegedly, he, even though these this there was a, a this, they just published this, uh, they just, did you see it on TV? This whole thing about what he had done to these girls. Some of these girls came forward and said what he had done to them. And these girls uh, basically were, you, you you get punished, you have to call them daddy. That's number one. Okay. Call me daddy. See, this is, this, you know what I'm saying? Call you got to call them da call <laughs> yeah, daddy. Call me daddy, So you got to call them daddy. <laughs> And then they, then they are, if, they, if they're punished, they can't eat. So he starves them. Okay. Well, no. How do you know? Listen, I have been doing my research on this. Now I don't know about you. I ain't been doing but a lot I of have. research. Now you're gonna have people hating me. Listen, I love R. <laughs> Kelly's music. I love him as an I artist. I do too. But not as a person at this point because he knew. I don't. I don't really know him personally. Well, personally, with all of the things that are out there that are circulating the internet, and I don't believe I've you a, know him personally. Let me tell you something. I've been a fourteen-year-old girl whose father passed. My father passed when I was five years old. God bless and so, you. And so, thank you. And 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 I, you know, you you what you do is you get you go out there. And you don't even know that you're looking for this love from a man, right? You want the love, it, it, whether it be a boy, whether it be a man, you want that love. And so you are constantly in search of it. So you're more open and more apt to allow a man to come in and manipulate you. And this is the reason why it doesn't sit well with me because I've been that age. and I've been a young girl that was promiscuous. OK, because of not having my father in my life. I've been that young girl. You're going to blame all of that. I'm going to blame all that. On R. Kelly? Yes. Is that smart? Well, he knew. Uh, he knew. 
you guys have to kind of lay off R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I don't, I, like I say, I don't know enough about it. I mean, I don't know R. Kelly personally. Uh, and I don't think most of the people that's online know R. Kelly personally. And I know one thing about women. They sure can come up with some shit. Well, here's the thing. You've never been a woman. And they're convinced. And you they never will come. be. Okay. So let me say that. Okay. What you talking about? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you, you've never been. And you, I saw a brother with a tuxedo dress on the other day. What you talking about? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful, by the way. It was terrible. Um, <laughs> now that you can talk about R. Kelly, and right. you put R. Kelly down, you ought to be putting this Negro down. Yeah, that was awful. I mean, this guy, oh, Lord have mercy on our souls. Anyway, that's going back to R. Kelly. Uh, hold on, we're gonna have to, have to take a little break right now, but we'll come back in a minute. Y'all, hold on. All we're going to do up here is express ourselves. So we'll be right on back here in a few minutes. Thank you very much. (laughs) I'm Charles Wright. This is Akisa.